Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your love and romance reading and it will be from March till April 2021 for the sign of Aries. So going into your season, end of March to April. Um, let's pull your overarching energy and see what we have for you. So what do we have for Aries please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Aries in terms of love, romance, relationships only. So we have the Nine of Wands as your overarching energy, Aries. Okay. Let's pull three cards. So the first card, Aries, is the issue or challenge you face. Second card is advice from spirit. And the third card is the future outcome. Okay. Then we clarify the cards, go deep into the message. As you know, by now we always do. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, message for Aries in terms of love, romance, relationships. March to April 2021, thank you. Angels, spirits, guides, thank you. Seven of Pentacles is in your challenge position. <clears throat> the Chariot. And we have the future outcome as the Five of Wands. Let's clarify, go deep into the message. Interesting, I've got Aries with Sagittarian energy, temperance, finding balance, doing what you do best, taking the initiative, taking control. Okay, sometimes where I cut the cards is just as important as the cards on the table. What do we have for Aries, please? Okay, so two cards there, Aries. Aries, Mars in Aries, like the energy, and we have the three of pentacles here. The Chariot, Aries, Advice from Spirit, we have Star. And the Five of Wands, we have the Four of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands. Aries, the, the, the energy that I'm getting here, Nine of Wands can be a card of having come through a difficult journey. It's the wounded warrior. And this is somebody who is so close to bringing completion to a situation. They're one wand away. For some of you, it might well be some kind of obstacle or something. It feels like there's either conflict within a relationship and you're taking stock, or it could be in terms of money, career, finances affecting your relationship. So either or for some of you, but definitely the energy of the card is something is nearly over, something is completing. You may have one more obstacle to go. Or for some of you, you might be holding back from completing a past journey, uh, from completing a, or bringing something to a completion. What is making you hold back? Interesting energy that I'm getting there, Aries. Because there's definitely something that you've been putting time and energy into. I mean, the Seven of Pentacles. Pentacles is our conscious reality, our foundational relationships, things of value to us, money, career, foundational relationships, health, home. So there's definitely this energy of taking stock, um, evaluating what's of value in your life now. And do you see the long term? Do you see a future? And it feels like that's what you're evaluating here because you have put a lot of energy and time into this relationship. It doesn't feel like it's a few days, few weeks, few months old. It feels like it's a significant relationship here that you've built together. But for some of you, you're taking stock on if you have a future, if there's something to build on. Can you get solidity and security back in your life? Now, equally, like I said, for some of you, you might be wanting, waiting for something good to happen in terms of money, career, finances that's affecting your relationship. And equally, just 
not being able to see how the future is going to roll out. You know, it's that kind of energy. So whether it's to do with a specific relationship or within the relationship or something affecting your relationship here, money and career, there's definitely an energy of evaluation taking stock and that's the what's of value to you. Um, because this is somebody who is a, a little bit frustrated. They put a lot of energy and time into something. But it's not panning out as quickly, it's not growing as quickly, it's not flourishing as quickly as they wanted it to be. And there's, there's frustration with that. So they're taking stock. Am I doing the right thing? Is this something worth my time and energy? Generally, it's a card of perseverance, but in the challenge position, it can be. Do I see the long-term benefits on what I'm working on right now? So it definitely feels for some of you... You might be taking stock in terms of your approach, in terms of money and career. It might well also be in terms of relationships, something within a relationship that you're just wanting to see, do we have a future? And I'm definitely getting that kind of energy. Now, interestingly enough, Aries, the chariot is a card of turning points, overcoming, um, overcoming challenge. And the star is a card of hope. So there's definitely this energy of you have the opportunity. And it's interesting we saw temperance before because that is about pulling things back into balance as well. We have the chariot pull in the black and white sphinxes that you can see are running in opposite directions, unruly in opposite directions. And the charioteer has the ability to pull them back into balance in order to drive forward in a straight line towards victory and success. So there's definitely an energy here that you can pull your life back into balance and overcome a challenge here. Now that could be you going on your own, leaving something behind, or it might well be for some of you, you can, you can both overcome this obstacle. There is victory and success coming your way because the star is a card of hope either way, whichever resonates for you. Um, hope, dreams, dare to dream, um, you're on the right path as well, you know, this evaluation, time to consider what's of value to you in your life. There's definitely an energy of you will absolutely find the right path. And what you put your energy and time into is where you're going to get the blessings, the reward. You know, this is a, a card of divine wish fulfillment as well. So for some of you, you are heading towards this blessing, divine wish fulfillment, renewal, hope, optimism new faith in life, you know, it's that kind of energy. The The star is very, very fulfilling. Um, it's a, a wonderful renewal energy. So, and there's also a kind of message here, Aries, of, that I'm getting in terms of the direction you go towards here if you're making some kind of choices, choosing between two paths, evaluating which way you go here, where do I see my future lying? This is about truth. There's absolutely an energy of align with your truth, align with what you feel to be true, you know, that kind of energy. So any decisions and choices have to be made with pure truth. Um, and you won't go wrong. You will find that right path for you. So the Four of Pentacles is... It can be a card of um, it can be a card of financial stability, security. The force in tarot can be stabilizing energy, an opportunity to get stability back, having gone through some disruptive tension, struggle conflict, call it what you will. So that could have been in money and career affecting your relationship. Or it could have been within the relationship, you know, something within the relationship that has forced you, forced you to take stock. The interesting energy, again, we have the blessings card here. We've got the 1111 card here as well, Aries. So there's definitely an energy of the restoration of the happy home. Um, and it's the 1111 is blessings. You're being blessed. People you've lost to the other side are reaching out, blessing you, guiding you, sending you signs, symbols, messages. Can be uh, dreams, can be in terms of birds in the garden, feathers, white feathers in particular. 
Um, they're kind of sign symbols in terms of that you're being given blessings, you're being watched over. But it is towards a new level of two fours. Having gone through instability, you have the opportunity to bring stability and security back into it feels the home, the happy home, to restore the happy home. Uh, love the energy of the Four of Wands, which is fire energy, it's your energy. Um, it is a card of finding your foundation, finding your stability, finding your happiness in your home, in your four walls. Celebration. This can also be linked with maybe some kind of celebration. Again, could even be to do with finances here that will kind of restore stability back into the home, the family. So for some of you, it's either conflict within a relationship and how you overcome that to renew something. It can also be for some of you getting financial stability back in your life um, that has brought happiness to the home and family. So either way, it definitely feels for some of you, something is nearly over, you're so close. There may be one obstacle. Saturnian energy here, there may well be one obstacle to overcome before you actually find that stability and security. This five of wands could be it. Conflict, um, disagreements, tensions, struggle, call it what you will. But it definitely feels that there is some kind of stability coming back your way. That's for sure. This is a card of celebration. So I really like the energy there, Aries, but I'm just going to pull one more card. Let's pull one more advice for Aries, please. Angel Spirits Guides, any other advice in terms of love, romance, relationships for Aries? Yeah, so we have, oh, I love that energy. High Priestess and the Six of Cups. So getting back what you had. I'm definitely getting this energy of getting back to where you were. Uh, Six of Cups is a revisiting the past energy. But it's also a card of joy, finding joy, reconnecting to your happiness. Um, and obviously the High Priestess is your soul light, your soul purpose, your soul truth. You know, she is intuitively being, she is intuitively guiding you. This divine energy guiding you. And I'm definitely getting this energy of getting back where you were. Um, it feels there was an opportunity to come full circle here. Um, obviously life experiences, you know, learning lessons that you've been tested on, but nevertheless, just there's definitely this energy of, of getting back where you were, you know? It feels for some of you, see, I've got the Six of Swords, equilibrium will be restored, the worst will be over, you know, the worst will be over, and you will be able to detach from troubles to calmer waters, however that pans out for you. You know, and again, this is Aquarian energy, which links in with the star energy. Um, it's very beautiful, Aries, moving to better times, restoring harmony and equilibrium in your life, um, whatever the choices that you're making will be. So it feels very beautiful here. Something is nearly over. Might well be just one more fly in the ointment that you have to deal with. But then it's just, it feels like it turns to plain sailing. Okay, so I'm going to pull a final message. Final message, please, for Aries. Final message for Aries. The Six of Swords is a card of healing. It's also a card of change and transition. So it could be some kind of celebration happening here or reasons to celebrate in the home here uh, where the worst is over and you find yourself heading for better times again, getting back to where you were. You know, it's definitely this kind of energy. Okay, final message for Aries. The card doesn't want to come out. <laughs> Sometimes when that happens, it, there's a specific card that's wanted, and I just have to wait till it comes out. Okay, <laughs> what do we have for Aries, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message fairies. Final message fairies. Thank you. Final message. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We're there. We have Lion Honor. Honor your soul and celebrate its journey. 
Wow, honor your soul and celebrate its journey. You know, the Nine of Wands is a journey energy. It's Sagittarius, which is the adventurer. And again, we have the High Priestess, the star soul energy. So I definitely feel for some of you, this is just embrace the journey and know that you are being guided every step of the way towards getting back to where you were. And that is a beautiful energy. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month or two for you, Aries, and I will see you next time. Thank you.